during load flow analysis we need to sometimes we need to uh, assign that load diversity factor depending on the operating uh, load scenarios let's see how to assign the load diversity factor with the help of load flow study case editor so this is the system what i have drawn there is a grid connected with the main 132 kb receiving substation from there two numbers step down transformers which is stepping down the voltage at 33 kb level and further downstream network is there 6.6 kb and uh, 415 volt 690 volt okay leave it that go to the load flow and check the load flow study case editor here all other things are okay adaptive newton refson newton refson method bus initial voltage okay go to the loading tab here load diversity factor selected as none that's fine let's run this load flow okay so the total power is drawing from the grid which is 4465 kilowatt and 1974 kilowatt so 4465 kw 1974 Ever. and here also at 33 kb level 2197 kilowatt 1235 kilowatt and here also some values okay just let's check only this 132 kb level and 33 kb level these are the active and reactive power flowing this power is drawing from the grid by the downstream distribution power system network now suppose based on the operation philosophy based on the you know that site operation team you are getting some data that these whatever connected loads with this existing power system network may not be required to run simultaneously or at the same time that means some loads are there which are running in reduced capacity or maybe some loads are totally switched off so in that case precisely what we need to consider as a power system engineer we need to apply the load diversity factor that means the hundred percent load whatever is connected with the respective voltage levels with the respective bus switch gears all are not operating at the same time so in that case we need to apply the load diversity factor say 60 percent 70 percent or 80 percent to so that this power this active and reactive power drawn from the grid will be reduced so how to do that go to study case editor go to loading tab here so we need to apply this load diversity factor bus minimum bus maximum if you set for the individual bus the rating bus minimum rating or bus maximum rating how to do that let's check here suppose for 33 kb if you go to the bus editor here the load diversity factor minimum 80 percent and maximum 125 percent this is the load diversity factor this is etf default value you can change you can edit also as suppose minimum 60 percent maximum 80 percent or maximum 100 percent like this and if you select 
if you select from the case study editor this minimum load diversity factor as minimum then this value corresponding the 80 percent or this 60 percent whatever you specify here based on this your load flow will run and if you select maximum this based on this value that load flow will run but i am not selecting any of these minimum or maximum i have got some site data so based on that i will apply the global global load diversity factor let's apply here from site i have got that 70 percent loading we need to consider so change this all to 70 percent so it will apply globally that means it will apply for all the switchboards connected with this power system network at all voltage levels say 132 kb 33 kb 616 kb or downstream click ok let's run the load flow once again previously it was 4465 kilowatt and you can see this is the reduced power 3128 kilowatt 3128 1, 1, 1, 2 kvr here it is also reduced at 33 kb level 1539 kilowatt here also reduced so the active and reactive power drawn from the grid is reduced at every basis so like this you can apply the load diversity factor globally when you don't have the enough data switch board wise suppose for this 33 kb board bus a or bus b loading what will be the loading that data is not available suppose in 6.6 .6 kb board wise data is not available or lv data board wise is not available in that case you can you can apply here the global diversity load diversity factor and you can specify and it will uh, uniformly distribute the load diversity factor throughout the power system and again if you select the none load diversity factor none that means it will calculate based on the maximum connected uh, load here with the power system network so it is 3128 here 1539 kilowatt let's once again run this load flow again you can see 4465 kilowatt to 197 kilowatt like this so yeah in this way you can change the load scenario based on the actual condition